learn about how to name angles. There are four different ways that we could name this angle right here. Now the easiest and best way that we're going to be able to do this is by using three letters. Now notice we have A, B, and C here. This B is our vertex of our angle, so it's always going to go in the middle of our three letter name. Now we're gonna use angle notation here, which is this right there, and we can name this angle A, B, C. Notice how that B is in the middle. We could also go backwards, we could name this angle C, B, A. Notice how that B is in the center again. Now, look at this one right here. That one doesn't have a degree marking. So we could also name this angle one whenever the opportunity presents itself. And the last way we can name this angle is just by naming it using the vertex. Now, we can do it in this case. We can name it angle B. However, if there are more than one angles formed by this vertex, say if I were to draw another right up there and that's D, we can no longer use that fourth method. That is how you name angles.